It's going to be a fun week. Yeah, that's the way you keep your tongue poked out. It's so cute. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Hi. Late start this morning, and the camera's all shaky, so I'm gonna stop this. Well, that's different. I guess our maintenance guy is moving around the barrels. Happy Monday. So I think it's gonna be a fun week. We're planning to go down to LA this Friday and other stuff, but my battery is dying and I don't have a spare. Okay, so the battery died this morning. It's not that I went off with a dead battery in the camera. I had a spare battery in my backpack, but it was dead, so go figure. Anyway, ran home, grabbed a spare battery, and now I'm heading to the barbershop because I need to get a haircut. And oh my God, things are messy. Totally forgot that Castro Street is torn up. Well, not the street. The street's a, sort of okay. Uh, I think I'm about to get screwed, though, by the bus. See, Castro Street's one lane, and the bus stops to let people on and off, blocking the entire street. Uh, construction, muni, annoying. Annoying, annoying, annoying. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. See, this is that construction stupidity. They've got the entire sidewalk being torn up. So it's Jesse. This is a new Jesse, by the way. Not a new one, but one that hasn't been here before. Hello, how are you? Good, I'm ready for my close up. Something like that. Good. Brittany I'm tired. is here. I'm exhausted. Oh, good. We're not going to do anything too exhausting. Cool. We're just going to lay right here, have dinner, and one of you get me back to this. Xanax will do that to you. Oh, well, the only way I'm getting through this trip is thank you so much. Brittany has been amusing me with <laughs> stories about the cruise. It is Golden Girls, but not the one you think. Oh. Fabulous. <laughs> Just come around the corner and see this. What? Alice, look at you. Why are you in the bag like that, goofy cat? She's not moving. What is wrong with you? She's a bag lady. It's crazy. Hi. So that's Brittany's boat out the mm -hmm. window She's there. On the boat. Oh, she's on a boat. And she loves it. Mm -hmm. So much fun. Yeah. I mean, it's really wild that those things move. They are so, they really are like buildings. They are. And that's where you're going to sleep. And you're full of people you really wouldn't want to be stuck on a ship with. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It's Wednesday morning and we are departing on time. Yay. I had breakfast with my riders this morning, so that's a good thing. Just dropped off Rich, just a few minutes away from school. I have nothing to say, I don't know why I'm recording. There's something really nice about the solitude of this alley first thing in the morning. A little short walk, gather your thoughts, all that. And it's 13 hours later. What was today? Kind of like a blur, I guess, maybe? Alice, what are you doing? Running around like a goofy cat, as usual. You're so cute. Two of you. That's shots two and three on this Thursday morning. You've got to admit, that's a beautiful thing. Am I pretty this morning? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Had my first cup of coffee and watched my videos with Sydney, so I guess it's time to get started. She's already moved over to the couch, waiting. Who knows? Mysteries of cats. Ready to go. Waiting for my husband. But I'm the one who always makes us late. It is just oppressively gray out there today. Blah, 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 blah. Not fun. I think it doesn't matter that much though. It's gonna be a busy day for me. I have a ton of stuff to get through today because we're supposed to drive down to LA tomorrow. So I am home. I did not get done what I needed to do today. Probably half of it. So I got a bunch of work I've gotta get done tonight. So I really don't wanna to have to be doing stuff this weekend. I need this weekend. I need the relaxation. I need to feel like I'm having a change of pace. Don't want to have work following me all the way to LA. It's 
going to happen a little bit more. I got to minimize it. Alice is eating all of Sydney's food and all of her food. And Sydney is just. Now they're both running away. That was pointless. It's Friday morning. The housekeepers are going to be here in 40 minutes. And my husband is cleaning. Hi, Sydney. How are you? You okay? I'm trying to exercise and you're in my way. We're leaving for LA soon after the housekeepers finish. All right, house is clean. We are packed, ready to go. About an hour later than we wanted to be, but you know, what do you do, right? Well, that's how I expected. Okay, 336 miles to the hotel. Yay. We stopped at Whole Foods to get some sandwiches to eat so we don't have to eat gross fast food on the road. We are at the Koalingua rest stop. More or less halfway. It's Koalinga. Yeah. Koalinga. Koalinga. It's raining. Surprising. A surprising amount. So, are we okay? You want some? No, I'm fine. We're in LA. Yay. We're just a few minutes away from the hotel. Home away from home, the Century Plaza. Actually, we're just about at Century City, right? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Are. Welcome to LA. That is LA. Again. It seems like this has become our home away from home here. Hotel neighbor out there smoking and his wife beater. Yay. We're going to dinner. <laughs> At Kraft, which is also become our home away from home. Yeah. We're going to craft because it's across the street. Yep. It's easy, and Richie likes it. And the food is good. Oops. And the food is good. Thank you. No, go to the mall. we don't want to do either one of those. Yeah, so hence craft is a really... Oh, you need for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh. there's restaurants over there that are nice, but... Over... Oh, in the mall? Yeah, no. Not the food court, but I mean, real sit down, nice restaurant. Better, better to walk than to get in the car, that's for yeah. sure. It's a pretty room. People are very nice and polite. Yeah. And warm, are. and not snooty. This is true. Just talking about the staff. And every time we've been here, we've had a great meal. Yeah. I have to leave room for dessert, too. I keep forgetting about it. What are you doing, honey? Of what? Raining? It's called rain. Yeah. I think this is an actual first where it is raining in Los Angeles when we're here. I know in theory it rains in Los Angeles, but this is the first time I've ever experienced it. Saturday morning, we are up. Got a little bit of coffee in me, and we're gonna go to breakfast. Look, it's turned out to be a beautiful day out there. Absolutely gorgeous, yes. Screaming kids driving me crazy. Um, not as much as you would think. And, uh... Crazy man yelling in his phone. Self-important asshole. We're in Beverly Hills. Rich wanted to come over here to walk and kill time till we met up with Sherry. I just find this all so revolting. It seems very Disneylandish. But it's nice. I mean, just because people are standing around with cameras, I don't know. I don't feel guilty or self-conscious talking into my camera. Maybe helpful. If if we could get in. <laughs> Do you we can't get in. Here. I'm actually gonna wait till you get out. We can't get in. Well, Richie's gonna have to do it. It's just a little tacky. Just a touch of it? Yeah. Um, this is pretty cool looking, I think. Yeah? 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 Looks like Richie's pulling out the iPhone. Popped into the mocha at the design 
Science Center. And there's some exhibit about gas clouds or something. These paper sculpture thingies. It's very cool. I kind of like it. It's more. Yeah, I know. I like them too. We're just saying we like this stuff. Yeah, I do. Oh, I know. The, I they tell me the same thing. I, and I'm like, I grew up in the South, never having, you know, and this is back with, if you did wear suntan lotion, it was like a four. There was no, I mean, a lot of it didn't even have numbers in it. Yeah, I know, I know. In fact, a lot of it was just so you could get a tan. Right. You know? Yeah, no, I mean, I go every six months. Ladybug. Um, and they tell me, like, oh, your skin looks great. But then they shoot me full of nit you know, liquid nitrogen. You think it's ugly? Yeah, I do. I don't know that I would call it attractive, but I don't know that I'd call it ugly either. Coffee place. I remember. I remember. Breakfast when, and coffee. Yeah, we would come here for coffee. That was in the same shape, probably. A very long time ago. We won't discuss the length of time, but needless to say, booze is now, you know, I think it makes more money for him. Even the gym has valet parking. I love cars and everything, but being here for a day has made me lose any desire for exotic, interesting cars, just because there's so many Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and BMWs, Mercedes. It's kind of revolting. Well, no, it is revolting. That kind of it is. I mean, look at this lineup here at a gym. Completely obnoxious. And the worst part is every Ferrari has a giant badge on the front fender. Like, you gotta look at me, look at me, look at me. The rocks are speakers. Whatever. It's morning. I'm heading down to get coffee. There's Starbucks in the lobby. Do we look pretty this morning? Uh, look, I just woke up. See? Just get off the elevator. It's right here. It's convenient. Prices are just ridiculous, though. So we just got back from the Museum of Tolerance. There's a Anne Frank exhibit there that Richie wanted to see. What'd you think of it? It was disappointing. Yeah, unfortunately. I think the exhibit was designed for people who had very little background on her or the situation, and not really for us. I hate to sound conceited, but we've been to Europe, we've been to the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam, we've been to a lot of museums in Dachau, Dachau and Munich, and Frank in Berlin, and Nuremberg, and have a pretty deep understanding of that time period and what went on. Absolutely. And the biggest problem is this exhibit was designed for children. Lots of trinkets. On exhibit, reproduction of stuff, documents, and objects from their daily lives. Hallmark Hall of Fame film. Yeah, the whole the big thing is it's supposed to be this like amazing multimedia exhibit, and it's kind of hokey and way too crowded. They had shoved too many people in, and there's just this whole I don't know this attitude there at the Museum of Tolerance espoused by the first person we came across basically giving us a speech about how important it is to pay attention to women and young people and how it's un unprecedented that we're studying this 13 year old girl and how I, horrible men are <laughs> yeah I mean basically as white men we are horrible people and deserved to be ignored and belittled and I mean, so basically it came down to I feel like the Museum of Tolerance was all about intolerance. That's my feeling. I don't know. I hate to say things like that, but... He, the, he's being nice and I'm being mean. That's what it comes down to. The woman at the beginning was very off-putting. She had, she, was, she had a definite attitude and talked down to people like we were children and just said some what I thought was offensive things. 
but it's all about tolerance. So we got our sandwiches and veggie roll. That's what I got. This is be easier to eat. On our way, right? Here we go towards home. It was a fun weekend and all, but I am ready to be back in San Francisco. Right? Those are some size large windmills there that Safeway has. I wonder why one is running and the other's not. We're almost home, about an hour away. Doing okay? That's enthusiastic. I guess this is gonna be one of the last times we see the old bridge. They've already got sections of it missing. Yeah, I noticed that when we were driving over it Friday. Yeah, this section up here is gone already. Not much longer. I guess by the end of the year it's gonna be gone completely.